A trail our ancestors left behind highlights the racial struggles and triumphs throughout our country. The U.S. Civil Rights Trail winds through 15 states and now a site in Danville has been added to it. As 10 News reporter McKinley Struthers shows us, it's a fitting start to a month dedicated to honoring black history. Danville, like many cities in the South, has gone through a lot. And those persons who fought for this, to be able to walk in what they fought for means a lot to me. It is only fitting that today we honor them by announcing the addition of Danville to the United States Civil Rights Trail. The trail debuted in 2018 and includes more than 120 sites, churches, schools, courthouses, museums, with a story that challenged inequality in the 50s and 60s. Danville has played a critical role. Councilman Sherman Saunders is part of that story. My mother was arrested outside of the mayor's yard in the city of Danville. 45 years later, the deity made her son the mayor of the same city. The Danville Museum of Fine Arts and History, once a segregated library, is now home to exhibits honoring the greats like singer Camilla Williams in all of the work done to get us where we are today. I'm sitting here being today, today being interviewed by an African-American news journalist. I'm an African-American mayor. Black history is important because they fought for us to be able to be in the positions that we are today. And for people who are my age, who grew up in a much different country, it can be easy to forget just how close we are to our history. Which is why today's recognition means so much to those who experienced our past, many on the front lines, because it marries their experience of the past with our experience of the present. He or she who forgets the past are destined to repeat it. This designation says our past will never be forgotten. In Danville, on the U.S. Civil Rights Trail, I'm McKinley Struthers, 10 News, working for you. Sites from Farmville and Richmond are also a part of the trail.